Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us here at Trans West Truck Trailer RV of Frederick, Colorado. My name is Michaela Geis. What I have behind me to show you guys today is a brand new 2024 Cimarron North Star three horse gooseneck with your standard front tack on this one. The short wall of your front tack is three foot eight, giving you a total floor length of 18 feet on this one. So really great floor length, super just really manageable. Great to get in those tight trailheads, those tight uh, parking lots at rodeos, events, horse shows, getting in and out of food on the run, gas stations, all that kind of stuff. So really great size on this one, but lots of options fully loaded out. So let's go ahead and run through it and we'll start right here at our front tack. So this setup on this one is called our RTG model, which stands for ready to go, meaning it is fully loaded out with anything you could possibly need in your runaround trailer's front tack. So starting at your door, you have a big 42 inch door on this one. We do these big 42 inch door openings because you have a swing out saddle rack. So we want to give you the most amount of space to get those saddles swung out without interfering with your door frame here. And then when they are swung out to still give you access in and out of this door. We do a sliding bus window on these doors right off of your saddle pad racks just to give that ventilation, get your air moving through there, kind of roll it through these saddle racks, especially after a really long trail ride or an event at a horse show, put nice sweaty pads on there, get that airflow just moving across those, dry those out and get that smell flowing out of there. And then we do have our brush tray right below that. Really great size brush tray. It's got a couple different compartments in it too, which I really like just to be able to keep your items separate but huge, really deep and really wide. So lots of space in there for all of your sprays, all of your brushes. I have this on mine and it's kind of eliminated the need for an actual like grooming tote inside of your trailer. Especially if you just set that in there, it can kind of run around on you, but keeping it right here, it's gonna open up with your door. It's gonna be right here, easy access off your tirings and just super easy to, I mean, I got brushes, I got detangler, main and tail spray, fly spray in the summer, all that good stuff, just right there, quick grab. And then your saddle pads are on that gas shock. So you just have everything that can swing out right here besides your bridle hooks, which makes it really accessible and really nice working off of this trailer. If you do need to climb in though, we did go ahead and upgrade to a drop down or a fold down step on this one. This trailer is your standard dimensions of 610 wide and 71 tall. So you do get that full length running board. But right here, we go ahead and taper it off and add that fold down step just to make it a little bit easier getting in and out of this tack room. If you did need to, to do that, we'll go ahead and swing out this saddle rack. Also on a gas shock. So it's gonna work kind of a little bit grabbier right now because it doesn't have any weight on it. But once you throw your saddles up on here, it's gonna be a lot smoother operation and it's gonna really help you get those saddles out the door. These saddle pads, the saddle racks here are fully adjustable. So you can actually grab a tool and you're just gonna loosen these bolts and you can slide them up and down anywhere on this swing out post so that you want them. Or you could add another one if you did wanna add another one. Uh, me personally, I just have a lot more saddles than I do horses. So it's even better to have four of these on here even if you don't need four horses on there. It's just great to have extra space, but you can go ahead and run these up and down wherever you want them. These are the best saddle racks I have ever seen on a trailer and used personally. Um, I just really appreciate the carpeting and how it's gonna stick to the wool backing on the back of your saddle, or if it's an English saddle and you just have the leather on there, it's still gonna grab. It's just really grippy that carpet is, and then it actually has what's called a wither block. Samron has actually designed and owns this extrusion here, which is a mold piece that creates this wither block. It sets up into the gullet of your saddle and prevents it from kind of sliding off on each side. So you really don't have to worry about it hitting the ground when you're driving down the road before you get somewhere. Just know that when you get there and you swing this out, all your saddles are gonna be right where you left them. Just gives you lots of peace of mind, especially when we spend as much as we do on these saddles. We don't wanna risk any broken equipment. And then you guys can now see this space here. When I talked about that 42 inch door opening, when you swing out your saddles, imagine your saddles on here, you still have tons of space to climb in and out of here, grab those bridles grab those halters, whatever it may be, and still have all the space to get in and out. It's not gonna interfere with anything. So working up into our tack room here, starting up in our nose, you guys can see this is fully carpeted. So our drop wall and our nose is gonna have that carpet on there. It's great if you do store stuff up in there, it's just gonna make it same as your saddle racks out there, make it a little bit grippier so those things kind of stay put. Also, you have those two windows up there for ventilation if you did need to 
spend a night up in here, up at a trailhead, out at the ranch. You're at a two-day horse show. You can throw a bedroll up there real easy and spend some time I'm a lot more comfortable with that carpet. And then down your drop wall here, again, fully carpeted drop wall. Then you have this half width boot box. So your boot box is gonna act as a step up into your nose, but then you also open the lid and have all this storage space. So this could be a really great space if you are having to spend a night in here. You can put your sleeping bags in here, your bed rolls, your pillows, duffel bags with change of clothes, anything that you want off the floor. Um, I haven't actually spent any nights in mine, so I use this for extra blankets. My horses have a ton of blankets, lightweights, midweights, heavyweights, magnet sheets, all that good stuff. And if you just throw it in there, you kind of wrap it up nice and stick it in there, you can fit a lot of them in there and then they're just out of the way, off the floor, keeps them safe, prevents them from getting ripped up. And then on your short wall over here, we're gonna have this shelf. Your shelf does have this two inch lip. So when you set stuff down in there, you don't have to worry about sliding off the edge. And then inside of there, you actually have some rubber matting on your shelf. So it helps things stick even a little bit better. And then below your shelf, you have this clothes bar. So if you are using this as a dressing room in between events, you can hang up all your extra clothes right here. If you're using it at the trailhead and you need to hang some rain slickers and stuff like that, that's a great space for that. Um, I actually have rodeo clothes up on this half and still, I mean, there's still tons of space left right here. So I actually have a set of four bridle hooks that you flip over a, a fence rail. You can actually stick that on there and then you have even more bridle hooks hanging right here. I've never had anything fall off. So even more bridle hooks. I know you can never get too much hanging space for all of your bridles. So great tip for that right there. And then we do have your standard bridle hooks over here. We got two rows, a high and a low. And then behind those, we have that carpeting. What that's doing for you here is just gonna protect your tack and equipment. It's gonna protect your trailer. You know, if you have that metal on metal swaying back and forth, you're gonna get those black streaks that you see in some trailers without carpeting. So just preventing those black streaks and then also deadens the noise. So on this side of this wall would be your horses. If you had that metal on metal banging, it's gonna be a lot louder than just on the carpet. So it makes it a little bit quieter ride for them as well as just protecting everything else. Something that is a great upgrade. I think I actually do have it in my trailer and I really love it. We'll just be carpet this entire wall. That way if you do set stuff on the floor that rubs up against it, it's not gonna leave those back black streaks and then you can actually add even more bridle hooks if you needed more space. And then back here in your corner, kind of your just little small angled dead space right there, we do a 25 gallon water tank on a stand. So it fills at the top. Inside of your stand down there, you have your hose. And then your hose clips on right there, screws on right there, and it's a very long hose. You guys can see on the marker or on the cardboard right there, it actually says 10 feet. So it's a very long hose. You can run it all the way out your tack room there. And then that gets you far enough away from your trailer. You can actually use it to wash off horses after a sweaty trail ride. Um, muddy event at a horse show or a rodeo, you can wash their legs off, you can wash off sport boots, you can fill up water buckets, rinse off your dogs, anything like that. So just great to have water on board. And then as we step out, there is this off to right light up there. Actually, my battery pack ran off with one of my techs this morning, so I don't have it plugged in, but you do have your off to right LED light up there. And just so you guys know, this trailer does not have a battery on it. It's just a standard manual crank jack, which we'll see when we get to the front. So right now, no battery power on this trailer. You cannot run your lights without being plugged into your truck. Keep that in mind if you're looking for upgrades on this trailer to add a battery pack, maybe the electric jack with it, and gives you the ability to run all these nice lights without being plugged in. So up there, I have a 16 inch awning LED light too. You guys can see if we're plugged in, they're super bright. And then your tie rings below that, you're gonna get three, because it is a three horse slant load. So you have three on this side, but also you'll have three on the other side as well you kind of need to split your horses up. And then what's really cool on this trailer, one of the upgrades that we did was to add these drop down windows on the hip side. So this does not come standard. What you're typically gonna get is just your sliding bus windows, which are really big on these Cimarron's. I really appreciate the size of those. You can interchange that for those livestock slats and do some plexiglass as well. Or you can upgrade to the drop down windows. So these ones are actually a full drop down. We have a lot of customers from the southern states that really like to build their trailers with these or they're always looking for trailers with these. Maybe they travel south for the winter. I've got some clients that winter down in Florida and this is what they want because when they do get down there, it's gonna be a lot hotter, a lot muggier. They want that extra airflow that these drop downs provide. So they're really looking out for these trailers. So they are popular. 
for that reason. But if you're still up here where it's a little bit chillier, you do have the sliding bus window on it as well. This trailer here has two 6,000 pound Dexter rubber torsion axles under it. Did upgrade to the black spoke aluminum wheels on this one. Looks great with the charcoal. I really love the black spoke with the charcoal. And then you guys can see our green valve stem cover right there indicates nitrogen filled tires. My personal truck really struggles with maintaining PSI on these cold, cold evenings and then hotter days. I am always filling up my tires there that are just air filled. With your nitrogen, it's going to decrease the probability of losing that fluctuation there. It's just going to maintain PSI and reduce your risk of a blowout. So really great feature. Also, just nice not having to fill them up all the time. So let's go ahead and step around to the back. So being your standard 610 wide trailer, we do all of our 610 wides with these 6040 door setups. So you got your 60% door over here. That way if you're just operating the one door to load horses in and out, this space works really well for that 60% is plenty. And then on your 60% door, you're still gonna get your bus window. Just even more ventilation throughout this trailer. And then you have your 40% door over here. So if you are by yourself when it's a windy day and you're loading and unloading, you only have to worry about managing the one door. But also, if you ever wanted to add a collapsible rear tack to this trailer, it's already set up to do so. Does not have the window on that side so that you don't get all that extra air getting into your tack space. Since you have your tack space up front, you could use this as just, I've had customers add just the folding rear tack wall. And then they use that kind of as a broom closet. So your pitchforks, your brooms, your muck buckets, extra water buckets, all that stuff that you don't want in your nice dressing room, you could use that back here. And a safety feature on this guy is this butt strap right here. So this is gonna go all the way across and just prevent that last horse right here from stepping out before you're ready. Just great safety feature on this one. Keep them in there, especially if they're tied up. You know, you don't want them stepping out while they're tied up and getting in any wrecks. And then in this trailer, your second divider here is just gonna be your partial divider. It is padded, so another upgrade we did on this one was the padding. They don't come standard with the padding, but I think that's a really nice upgrade. It is one that I would recommend to my customers building a trailer. My personal trailer does not have them. I will look at adding them for sure. Just nice for comfortability once they are kind of bouncing in between these dividers, traveling through traffic, traveling through the mountains, stuff like that. Once they get to leaning on them or if they're a little sleepy coming home from the vet office, just more, it's just a better ride for them that way. And then your front stall up here is gonna be that stud wall divider. Off of your front stall, you have an escape door. So kind of dual purposing this front stall, which is exactly how I have it on mine, is just using it for storage space. So having your front tack with your tack and your nice dressing room closed stuff and then using your front slant right here, which we'll check out once we get to the escape door. You guys can see exactly how much space it is. But using that space for storage, if you don't have the collapsible rear tack as well, again, the muck tubs. I've got those Rubbermaid tubs full of extra gear for my horses that I stick up there. So just a great extra space for that. Up top above each horse, you're gonna have a two-way roof vent. So you can go ahead and push them open forwards and be drawing that air in. Push them open backwards and be pulling that air out. So tons of ventilation throughout this trailer. Your standard roof on these Cimarron's is an R3 thermal value insulated fiberglass roof. Keeps it 20 degrees cooler in the summer, 20 degrees warmer in the winter does not dent or is dent resistant up to a baseball size hail. So a huge hail would have to do any damage to that roof. And then when it does, it's just going to kind of spider web crack. It's really easy to just coat over that with your clear coat and kind of seal it back up. But really nice roofs on these Cimarron's very durable and very effective at keeping this temperature controlled in here. And then I'm going to show you guys in this last slant here, where it's a little bit closer. We have our D rings right here. So you're gonna have three D-rings in your corner here. Just snap your two-way snaps on there and then you can clip in a corner feeder. So these are standard size. Go to any ranch supply store and grab a corner feeder. Clip it in there if you want hay on the go. But each stall also comes standard with two of these tie rings. I love having two tie rings per stall. I will use this one up here for a hay net or a hay bag. And then this one back here has the trailer tie on it, clips to the side of their halter. Just nice to have extra versatility versatility throughout this trailer and getting to use it exactly how you want to use it some people don't want the corner feeder some people don't want hay nets you guys can pick that's the best part of these Cimarron's 
you can pick what you do with them. And then your two Opto brights in here as well, which would be lit up if we had that battery pack. Super bright. That's why they call them Opto bright LEDs. Two is going to be plenty inside this space here. This one is set up as a step up. We do have. We do try and keep a couple ramps in stock so we can look at adding ramps if you guys want that upgrade. So we'll go around and step, step around to our head side over here. Kind of the same setup as your tail side. You're going to have your 16 inch awning light, LED light. You're going to have your three tie rings over on this side as well. We do have the drop down windows on our head side, just kind of like we saw on our hip side, except for these ones are going to have maybe a little bit frozen shut since they're in the shade here. These ones are gonna have the jail bars that stay up though. So especially being on your head side here, we don't want their heads getting outside of this trailer while you're driving down the road. So we have the jail bars to keep them in so you can travel down the road like this. If you need to drop down the jail bars, fill their corner feeders, fill a water bucket, check those hay nets. Just check on them, make sure they're traveling good. You can drop those jail bars. There, this is a one full solid piece, no moving parts on this piece, which is really great. All you have to do is kind of manipulate this drop down window and get it up in those slots. So I really like that it doesn't have any moving parts to this jail bar setup. It's all one piece. You do still have your sliding bus window in your drop down as well. If you didn't need so much airflow. And then on these Cimarron's, another really great feature to point out is gonna be their hinges. Every single hinge on this trailer you're going to have grease starts on both sides. So go ahead and use your grease gun, grease both sides, and then work the hinge up and down. Inside is going to be a spiral system. It's going to run the grease where you start all the way to the end as you work that hinge, which is great for maintaining your trailer, keeping it lasting a lot longer, a lot, ni a lot nicer all, all by yourself at home. So don't have to worry about taking it anywhere. And don't have to worry about your hinges seizing up on you. And then we talked about our escape door off of our stud wall here so we have two different locks on this one we have just our recessed paddle latch which i really like having as a secondary latch but then on top of that you're going to have your butterfly latch or your paddle latch here just for safety purposes knowing that you're going to have a horse on the other side of this door that can play with this latch on the inside we don't want them to be able to pop it open and release themselves and i'm afraid it's probably going to be a little bit iced shut being parked in the shade on this side, just didn't get the sun it needed to after we washed it last night to be able to open that door right now. But this is a great feature to get in there. And again, like we said, use it as storage. It's just extra space there. If you did need to check on your horse, there also is gonna be a chest bar there as well. So when you do open it, your horse will not come out. So safety features there. All of our Simbrons that are just these runaround trailers, we are gonna order with a 53 inch drop wall right here. So your standard is gonna be about 50 inches, about three inches less, meaning it comes down to about here. So those three inches that we're using is actually up into this nose part. So once we were up in that front tack, you guys saw there was still tons of space up in here. Plenty of head clearance if you are gonna spend a night up in there, you, didn't, you don't even miss those three inches. But what you're getting out here with these extra three inches is gonna be bed rail clearance from here over your truck. So just knowing those new trucks, they get taller and taller every year that they build them. It's causing issues with these older trailers that don't have the 53 inch drop wall. You're ending up having to extend that coupler out to get that clearance. And then you're traveling down the road at an angle, which is not good for your axles or for your tires. So what we have done is actually increased this, got your trailer up off your bed rails with enough clearance to still ride level. So now we're getting off our bed rails we're getting our axles traveling down the road flat and it's just a lot better system there so really nice feature on those Cimarron's there like I mentioned earlier manual crank jack in here with no battery option we can do just a battery power pack right here and just we mount like an aluminum battery box put a battery in there and then you can run your lights without being plugged into anything you can also add an electric jack which does take up a little bit more of a footprint here, which is why we've moved this spare tire up. So it's already done half the labor there. All I gotta do is add the electric jack. Another reason we put this spare up here is to keep it up, just keep it up a little bit cleaner. It's a little bit higher up here, gets it away from that backsplash from those roads. This time of year, there's all that salt spray out there. 
So putting it up here keeps it cleaner, a little bit easier to use if you do need to change it out. And as you guys can see, it is a matching spare tire. So I like to say, if you do want to run that through your tire rotation program, get some use out of it before you have to go change those tires out in five years. So it's nice, it's a matching spare like that. This is a brand new Simron, so you are 100% aluminum construction. And then being brand new, you are getting an eight year structure warranty, three year hitch to bumper. This trailer that you guys are checking out, you're gonna have your stock number right here. If you're watching online, scroll to the bottom, right hand corner, our search bar, type in 5N231725. It will take you to the webpage for this trailer. You can see the specs, you can see all the photos, you can watch this video again, check out the price. All my contact info is gonna pop up on your screen too, so if you need, to reach out to me with any questions please do so i can send you the spec sheet i can send you the drawing of this trailer we can go over any questions you have my cell phone 303-918-6367 please call or text and then my email michaela appeared guys at transwest.com thank you guys for tuning in i look forward to helping you out and have a great rest of your year